I'm Barbara Chase, and our Senior of the Month for February 2022 is Mr. Roger Terry. Well, thank Hi, you very Roger. much. When you said that, I had to look around at first, <laughs> you know, see if you were talking to me, but I do realize I'm a senior. <laughs> and thank you for the opportunity. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for agreeing to do this. It's an honor. We got some very positive comments, and of course, we've seen you also doing what you do best, so mm -hmm. that's why you're here. We want to find out more about you. Well, thank you. It's, it's uh, my hometown. You know, uh, my dad and mom were born here. Uh, we, the Terry's have been in Montclair for a long, long time. So to me, it's all about giving back, you know. And I've been blessed enough and healthy enough to be able to do some things, a few things. Yes. And you've done a few things. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when were you born? When was your birthday? My birthday is October 30th, 1949. And as the old story goes, my mother was at a uh, Halloween party, you know, the <laughs> night before, because that's mischief night, you know, and uh, I was on my way, so born like that. And that may be one of the reasons why I am who I am and what I do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy birthday. A belated happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mine is tomorrow. Oh, good. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Well, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Every once in a while it falls on Thanksgiving. Oh, that's right. Occasionally. That's a great day to have a birthday. <laughs> have the family together and yeah, celebrate. Yeah, it, it has been great. Mm -hmm. And far enough away from Christmas to not... Yeah. You can get another gift. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Roger. Um, so you were born in Montclair, and um, are you still employed? Now, are you? I am still employed. I uh, retired from the police department uh, in uh, 2008, and uh, since then, you know, I did a stint with the uh, township council. Right. I uh, have a part-time job with Stonegate Associates with uh, do security work for different uh, school districts throughout the state. And uh, recently, I just got hired uh, by the Department of Justice, and uh, I've been working down in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. You know, I stay down there for three weeks, then I come home for six weeks. Oh, really? Yes. We work to uh, try to assist the Internal Affairs Department, of uh, their police department, and uh, try to straighten out some situations within the department. You know, it's a tough job, but you know, it's uh, it's kind of rewarding. Can I ask how you connected with Albuquerque um, the Police Department? A friend of mine who's an attorney here in town. Uh, him and his partner started the business and it was just by chance we were talking and uh, he said would you like to try uh, a job you know and I wasn't really looking for a job you know I've been retired for a while mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy uh, my retired life walking the dog and enjoying some of the things that uh, I haven't had a chance to do in life but uh, I, I like a challenge, and uh, I may sometimes I think I bite off a little bit more than I can chew, but uh, so far, so far, it's very challenging, but it's, it's uh, rewarding also. I understand a lot about the work that you've done mm -hmm. in Jersey and out. Volunteer work? Volunteer. Well, I uh, have been working with the NAACP just recently after the unfortunate death of Al Pelham, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I was the first vice president, so now I'm the president, you know, oh, of the, okay. the, uh, the uh, municipal branch. And uh, I've been doing that for some time. I work together with the Brother of the Brother uh, group, which mm -hmm. is a mentoring 
group for young men, young men. in the community. Uh, Joe Davis is a the chairperson there. Great group of uh, people to assist some of the individuals who are having some issues throughout the community. Uh, the Kiwanis Club, I've been working with them off and on, haven't had much time recently, but uh, I have worked with them in the past, and the uh, Senior Citizens Advisory Board, you know, which I know that uh, you're right. involved also with and uh, yes. have been assisting with that. I heard Jack talk about the uh, Senior Center, and that's a tremendous idea, you know. Actually, you know, the uh, council that I was on in 2008, you know, we brought that up, you know, that that's important to have, unfortunately, it didn't get passed then, but uh, I could see where that's going to be something very, very special in our community, you know, coming up. Well, it is very special, and um, it has grown considerably over time. When it first started, it was a group of women and a couple, couple of guys. Now we have a number, a large, much larger number of men attending, mm -hmm. uh, and also something that didn't happen when it first started is is the hot lunch mm -hmm. program which is excellent for seniors especially seniors who live alone and for men also who live alone and don't cook and That's that right. kind of thing so uh, so the program is growing and and I look forward to seeing it grow even more so that there there will be things you know now that COVID is kind of petering out that that they would be able to do things to to expand mm -hmm, mm -hmm. trips and things like that like they once did. Excellent. That's good. Okay. Tell me um, some of the most important lessons that you've learned through your life. I'm sure being, you know, having been, you know, in a political setting and in a police setting that you've, you've learned a lot about human nature and mm -hmm. um, human beings and the the way they think and behave. Mm -hmm. um, tell me what, what you feel, what you've learned. Well, well, first of all, I had great parents. You know, I had parents that were servants in the community. My father, he was a milkman and a, uh, a letter carrier, a mailman. And my mother worked for the municipal court here in town. And uh, they loved working with people. They loved giving back to people. They loved helping people throughout the community. So when I think about some of the lessons learned, I think some of that, some of those are the most important, how important it is to give back and to help people in your community, especially the ones who haven't had an opportunity like right. yourself. Now, you know, I've been fortunate, you know, there's been ups and downs just like in everybody else's life, you know, my life is uh, been many ups and downs and many turn turnarounds and all kinds of different circumstances but you know uh, one of the things that my parents always instilled in me is to keep on fighting you know yes. one of those sayings was when the going get tough the tough get, tough going. get going you know so you right. continue to press forward you do uh, try to help as many as you can but also keep the focus on yourself that whatever that you may need spiritually, mentally, and physically to keep your temple, this human body going that you must need to nourish. Absolutely, to otherwise you wouldn't also. be able to do any of the things. You will not be able to help any. And sometimes yeah. that that's where people go astray. And I've had that happen even myself. Extend yourself yeah. so far out that right. you're not really like paying attention to some of the needs that you may have. That yourself, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, when you talk about giving back, um, because I keep hearing this, and I know that there are, are people out there like ce celebrities and sports figures mm -hmm. who earn big, 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 big bucks, and I wonder why some of them, I know some of them give back, but they do it quietly and, mm -hmm. and you know, without fanfare. Mm -hmm. But I know that there are some who don't really do much, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I wonder, you know, how people like you feel about about that. Well, I, to me, each his own, 
You know, some yeah. people may not have had the opportunity to learn from some parents, to learn from some uh, family members or some community individuals to uh, give them the grid work, the work okay. to understand so it's, what it's, it's like. instilled from e exactly. early on. Yeah, some of them okay. may not may not have that, you know. Uh, okay, all right. I I hadn't thought of it in that in that, <laughs> in that way, but yeah. I just just my be, just my opinion, you know that. Uh, well, that makes a lot of sense that it's instilled in you early on, and mm -hmm. when you get to a point where you have something to give back. Do you have any other bigger plans for anything in the future, or I mean for? expanding on any of the things that you do or well so far by the grace of god my health is well you know without that and we see it all the time you can't do anything right so as you start climbing the ladder the ladder of life you have to to make sure that you know that you're healthy do whatever you can go to the doctor visit uh, get some exercise get out take a walk you know, I like going to the gym. I go to the gym still and uh, uh, get a little bit of a pump, get on the treadmill, the pedicycle, some things like that, you know, kind of keep your energy level up, you know. Uh, and uh, with that, if you do the right things and you're blessed enough, because sickness can come from all sides, that oh. you're very fortunate to keep going. Wow. Well, Roger, thank you for bringing back some good memories, and thanks for letting, letting us know more about you than we already knew. Well, I and thank you, I, first of all, for having me. You know, as you've indicated, like before, that uh, we are blessed. I'm a blessed man, yes. you know. I try to live one day at a time. I try to have a little bit of an urgency to live a little bit deliberate, you know. And uh, that keeps a little bit of focus on some of the things that I need to do. And beyond it, just this gift, this life is a gift. It is. It is. There's one Barbara Chase, there's one Roger Terry. So, you know, we have to accept that and do the best that we can and say while that. we can. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very Mr. much. Terry. Roger Terry. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>